Hello friends, this is Ariana Sano. I am back for my first video of 2024. Sorry for the goggles. I'm getting ready to make some soap and I decided to invite you and ask you to join along as I am making some more salt bars. I know <laughs> I've already shared a video about those recently, but I am so obsessed with them. They are so amazing. They make a really, really nice hard bar of soap. The lather is kind of like really tight bubbles. It's so amazing. And I wanted to make some with some purple Brazilian clay from Simply Ingredients that I got uh, last year during a soap conference. And I wanted to try a new blend of essential oils. Also, also, I ordered some new molds, I know, <laughs> from Winston and Walter because she released a 15 single cavity silicone soap mold. And I thought this would be Perfect for salt bar so. All right, so I hope everyone is well for this new year. I wish you health, lots of bubble, and new adventures. Let's unbox. And, oh, exciting. <laughs> Hello Ariane, I hope you love our first edition cavity molds. We look forward in hearing your reviews. Much love, July. Ooh, and this is a purchase. I did not get this as a freebie. I wanted these and I got these. So let's take them out, check them out. If you have never heard from them, Winston and Walter is a soap mold company. They make their molds in Montreal, in Quebec, Canada. This is one of the molds they make. They also specialize in wooden soap molds with silicone liners, such as this beautiful tall and skinny mold. They also have slab molds, tiny molds, big molds, medium molds, every everything. <laughs> but I really wanted to try these because they look like they are a perfect size for salt bars. Now, if you haven't seen my um, salt bar videos or if you've never tried a salt bar or, or never made one, they're extremely hard to cut because they contain lots of salt, lots of coconut oil, making them an extremely hard bar of soap. And if they aren't um, made in a cavity mold, cutting them is really hard. It makes the soap crumble, so it gives them much better shape when we use single cavity molds. This salt bar formula was shared last August in 2023 over on Patreon. It is no longer active as my formulas go on a rotation schedule every three months, but this will be a uh, special video that I add as a bonus on my basic soap making course. So if you're already subscribed to my course, yay, you will be able to go back, log back in, and this will appear as a bonus video with full tutorial formula everything and if you have not subscribed to my course yet i encourage you to go visit the link down below as you can learn to make soap with me it's a beginner soap class so if you've never made soap before or if you've made soap a long time ago but don't really know how to get back to it that course is for you uh, i cover really basic soap making methods it's very easy to follow easy to understand i also explain basic soap making terms so um, today we are making the salt, salt bar with lots of coconut oil. Also, I'm going to be using some palm oil from Palm and Right, which is a sustainable, organic, deforestation free, wildlife friendly um, palm oil. It is not the bad palm oil that causes so much issues. Um, so yes, and then we're going to use some shea butter from Baraka Shea Butter, which is produced by hardworking women in Ghana, and it helps them to have a decent wage. Uh, and we're gonna use some extra virgin olive oil, and that's it uh, for the base of oils. So um, the exact ratios will be in my e-course. Now that my shea butter, palm, and coconut oils are all in here, I'm gonna melt this down. I really like these uh, big plastic pitcher because they fit right into my big microwave and I can melt everything down in there. Um, if you don't have a pitcher like this or a big microwave, you can always melt it down in a stainless steel pitcher like this one. This is a three liter or 12 cups uh, Krona Norpro. It's available on Amazon and there is a link in my Amazon shop if you wanna 
get this, it's an affiliated link. It just brings me a little extra income each month when people use my links. But we're gonna use the microwave for today. The essential oil blend that I am using, so fresh, it's so, I'm not gonna say yummy because it's not something yummy, but <laughs> it makes my nose very happy. It's very fresh, it's wintergreen with cedarwood, Himalayan, and peppermint. And yeah, it just smells like, like peppermints. Have you ever smelled wintergreen? It just smells amazing. cold today it's the wind is blowing you can probably hear it in the video uh, 90 kilometers per hour it's minus 20 it's snowing which is not a bad thing but it's the wind and it's so cold so I kept my hat on so I, <laughs> I picked up my light water solution it's actually a salt water solution so on top of using uh, dried salt, sea salt, I'm also using salt water as my water base. It already has my lye mixed in here. My essential oil blend is ready. Now, the only thing missing is the olive oil, and then we will get going and make some soap. And this is my new soap making best friend. <laughs> It's the all clad 600 watt stick blender. It's a little bit costly. So if you're a hobbyist, I don't recommend getting it, getting it. But if you run a small business, it doesn't introduce bubbles in your soap mixture. It has different speed settings. It's just great, great, great. It does not come in pink, teal or yellow, but it works really well. <laughs> Before we start mixing and pouring the soap, I'm gonna add an accent of color with this pink Himalayan salt. I could also grind it down and include it in the soap, but I'm just gonna do sea salt and the highlights will be the Himalayan salts here. And I like to add these first because once you start mixing, then everything goes rather quickly. So you just wanna be prepared. And if you're wondering what the difference is between a salt bar and a uh, salt soap made with a brine water solution, the concentration of salt is much different. This was a brine water solution and we could just make a soap like this. It does add some hardness to the final bars of soap, but it does not give the salt bar feel that adding extra salt gives. Let's add the essential oil blend. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, just like peppermint candy. Okay. Ooh. okay, now let's add the salt. Come on, all needs to go in. Look at that. I should have used a spatula. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of this aside and then add my clay. I'm gonna dump this back in here just randomly like this. Make sure I get everything in. it a little so we have a nice marbled look and start pouring nice okay let's flatten these out a little so we're just gonna tap tap wiggle because <laughs> we want these to like I kind of want to see at which level I'm trying to pour even. Sometimes it's not always easy. So the middle ones are the trickiest. We're just going to cover these nicely because this comes with a nice silicone lid. And 
we are gonna have to wait <laughs> until tomorrow before we come back and unmold these soaps. Um, they are lovely. I really like the color that the purple Brazilian clay gave. By the way, you can use any clay. You can use a green clay, a pink clay, yellow, golden clay, blue clay, which I don't have. And I'd really like to get my hands on some blue clay. It looks so lovely. Anyways, it's hard to find in Canada or businesses that will actually ship to my location. Uh, but while I wait for this to harden, I'll, I still have to do the dishes. So I'm going to go clean this up and I will see you when it's time to unmold and take a look at these beautiful soaps. It's time to unmold these soaps from the Winston and Walter silicone soap mold. I ended up leaving these over the weekend because I was way too busy to come back and mold these with my kids and all of their activities. So here we are three days later. Let's flip this over and start taking the soaps out. Now these molds completely flip over, allowing for a very easy release. Look at the marbled look. It's so nice i love the purple from the brazilian clay it's just perfect so i'm gonna set it aside to dry and keep pushing out this is just like a puppet <laughs> pop pop and you can see the himalayan salt that i dropped at the bottom of the mold are now on top giving it a nice interesting texture Let's see now. Can I pop out a couple? Yes. Nice, nice. These are really nice, big and chunky, and we're gonna weigh one of these in just a minute. So by pressing the top of the mold, I can feel right away which one needs to be unmolded. I really love how flexible these molds are. Uh, many silicone molds do have some plastic components mixed with the silicone and aren't as flexible. These are amazing. Okay, so we got these 13 beautiful soap bar and let's see how much soap we got in there. So, ooh, that's, that's 185 grams for this one. Let's pick a smaller one. This one is 169 grams, so I gotta practice at being better at pouring equal soap. This one is 194 grams of soap. Of course, they will cure. I made these with almost full water, almost no water discount. Um, the salt is also heavy. So although the bar is not that big, you can see it fits nicely in my hand, it is very heavy. So we're gonna let these dry for one month and then they will be ready to try. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick lather video with this soap, which is older, that has aged, it's ready to be used uh, so that you can see the type of lather that soap bars produce. You have got to try this essential oil blend. It smells so good, so fresh. Now, all that is left to do is wait for them to cure and harden. Uh, they will age and become really, really even harder. All of this salt does not prevent the soap from pre creating lather and nice tight bubbles. So I'm going to show you on the side of my screen here uh, that these actually do lather and produce foam, which is kind of funny because when you go out at sea and you try to wash with a bar of soap, it does not lather. But this soap, I promise does give some nice lather it's a like like the the bubbles are tighter it's more like a creamy feeling but it definitely lathers and i love it and it smells again i know i'm repeating myself it smells so amazing so um if you want to learn how to make these salt bars it is a bonus chapter of my e-course on beginning to make cold process soaps i will leave the links down below so in the course, there is already two formulas and this one is a bonus. It's a third formula that I'm adding and all of my essential oil blend that I recommend and that I have tested for my salt bars is also in that chapter. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed 
and I will see you soon in another video. Thank you so much. Bye.